G'day everybody, welcome back to another episode of Craft by Tim. We've got a little bit of a short video for you guys today. Knife beveling jig. Because I made a very simple one for the video where I reviewed the 2x48 inch grinder, which was basically these two bolts, two nuts, and a piece of angle line. It worked, but not the best. It, I, I did notice there were problems with the bevels. They end up looking really consistent, but in actuality, I reckon they could have been better. Hopefully this will help sort of alleviate some of those problems. Now, first things first, let's go through all the parts. All right, so this is everything that you should need as far as parts go. So first things first, we have a 25 by three millimeter piece of angle line. Now, the longer you have this, the better you are off because it means that you can fit longer knives if you want to do longer knives. And the wider you have it, the better you'll be off because you can have higher blades as well and you still get that same amount of stability and you won't need this part if it comes out maybe a 15 millimeter wide piece of angle line i probably wouldn't use this part uh, up next we have two m6 bolts and compatible nuts we have a m6 bolt again this is a 40 millimeter long m6 bolt with a uh, spring about the same and a M6 washer. We also have two M5 bolts. I tried to go for a little bit heavier of a base, um, and then that's just mild steel again. About the same size of this uh, piece of angle line. Now, if you want to, you can get a little bit more fancy with like putting on handles and that sort of stuff, but for this one, we're just basically going to make a basic model and then as time goes on and I figure out exactly what I want, I'll put more parts on it as they are needed. Right, let's jump into this. Okay, so at this point in time, we're about to just sort of finish uh, fixing on this this hinge onto the base plate, and then we're pretty well just onto this uh, to sort of just do some final touches. Now, as of right now, we've got the hinge currently just epoxied onto it. I did originally have it welded, but that was actually a different hinge. Now, I've decided against welding it, not because my welding sucks. I mean, it does, but epoxy just seems to be holding it well enough anyway, and it's a little bit easier to epoxy something on because it means that I can line it up as it was setting and make sure that it's reasonably straight uh, along this front edge. You'll notice that I've drawn out these holes on the top half a little bit larger. That way when I thread through these, I get a, look, a good bit of play there so I can actually sort of, as I'm tightening them up, make sure that everything's as square as I, I can get it. But yeah, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill through and we're gonna do that with three millimeter drill bit but something to keep in mind is that uh, we need the base to be as flat as possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to countersink the bottom. That way whilst this is expanding we can actually grind it down as much as we need uh, and we'll still have enough material underneath there to actually hold on. And the only reason why I'm using prop rivets as well is because I'm not entirely sure how hot this is going to get and if it gets too hot then it might actually destroy the epoxy. So we need to make sure that that is as strong as possible.
Okay, so we've made a few minor adjustments and to help demonstrate them I will use this uh, small piece of 5mm D2 sort of see whether or not this is actually going to work uh, the way it's intended. First things first, we'll uh, start at the front. So we have these two screws, uh, M5 screws that are basically just shortened down using the grinder. So they're quite small screws uh, and what they do is they just pass through the front of the angle iron. So they just pass through the front of the angle iron. Next up we have uh, the two holes where the original angle adjustment screws were. Uh, the M6 screws. I've actually taken those both out. Because they were so in line with the hinge, uh, the pivot point was actually tearing away. So you'll notice that now I've got three rivets on there and they're actually significantly larger than the last ones. As these were getting pushed down against this base plate, they were actually pulling this up and they were pulling away the hinge from the base plate. So I put in some new pop rivets. They're the five millimeter pop rivets rather than the three millimeter ones. Uh, and it seems to be working a lot better. Uh, moving back again, we now have only one uh, angle adjustment screw, or bolt rather. I can loosen that off and that will give me a steeper angle or I can tuck. Wait, is it steeper or is it flatter or obtuse? Anyway, if I uh, heighten the, um, the screw, then it gives me a more um, sort of obtuse angle. There we go or loosen it off, it gives me a more acute angle. And we've just switched out the spring because this one was a little bit too powerful. So yeah, but that seems to be all of the changes that I've made so far to this. So now we can give this an actual test run. So I've got a piece of D2 here. We're gonna clamp this to the front. Hopefully this works. Is it working? The short answer is yes, it does work. Um, there is another adjustment that I had to make. So I put in, there you go. Uh, so this is the height or the angle adjustment bolt. I just put in an extra nut and that allows me to easily tighten this uh, and with a spanner, I can tighten it that way or I can just loosen it off a little bit, adjust the height of the uh, nut and then tighten it back up and once it hits the nut it basically sort of tightens itself so I can do this entire thing with just a screwdriver which is awesome. The knife, how's it going? So this is the knife as of right now, there it is. It worked but it didn't work the way that I wanted it to. Basically bevels came up too far and that was because this uh, the bolt that kept slipping so the long and the short of that is uh, that meant that my angle became too steep and I was just grinding. I, I still got a good bevel in there. It's all the way to the top, which isn't what, exactly what I was after. First trial run, first test run of this thing. I think I've worked out most of the kinks and the next knife that I do with this should hopefully be uh, a lot better. It is unfortunate and I could probably fix it given a little bit more time. All right, so I don't want to leave these videos on a bad note. Like, I don't, I don't want to leave something not finished as well as it could be. Hey Tim, you should go delete your entire channel then. Ha, ha ha, ah, it hurts. Anyway, so I don't want to leave it. So I decided to try and finish it a little bit better. Uh, and that's about where I got to. Okay, I guess. Yeah, yeah, side one's all right. But it's nothing like side two. It's, um. Both, both sides are like sort of completely different. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether or not I can actually fix this from here. I, I think it's gotten to the point where it's as bad as it can be, but I would be willing to try. It was just a practice. I, I was completely okay with the whole idea that this was sort of just gonna 
it might end up in the scrap bin. So this one didn't turn out as well as it could. Then I decided to give it another go, and this one turned out way better. Side number one, side number two. The tip could use a little bit of work. Uh, I reckon bring the bevel, um, the bottom bevel up. It, it's not gonna take long to sort of fix that. Overall, way better finish and a way better consistency. So that one I, I will definitely finish up um, later on, heat treat it later. Okay, so there, there you have it. Really easy project. And a really weird thing about this is the fact that I was able to, I came across problems, which, you know, it's not that interesting. It happens to me quite often. But I came across problems, there was just sort of, I don't know, there was a click that was like, oh, this is how you fix that. I never really problem solved like that, and I, I don't know why it's sort of just become one of those things I'm getting better at, but I'm really glad that I am. Problem solving, that's getting better. Welding, that still needs work. Thank you to everybody who keeps insulting my welding as as that actually helps because it's like wow well, people are noticing I, I, I gotta I gotta be better if you want to insult my welding feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section below I try to answer every single comment that you guys leave for me uh, positive and negative and if you guys have any suggestions for anything that you would like me to do in the future leave it down below I want to remind you guys about uh, the Perth knife show um, it's happening in February, the 3rd of February is when I'm going to be going. I'm going to be going down. Uh, if you don't know what the Perth Knife Show is, it's a knife show in Fremantle because there's nothing in Perth. If you want to come down to the Perth Knife Show, it's uh, it's only like $10 entry and it's on the 2nd and 3rd of February. I'm going to be there on the 3rd. If you happen to run into me, feel free to say good day. I'll catch you all in the next episode, but in the meantime, remember to stay safe, happy crafting, and as always, cheers. Have fun.